Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Software Inc. Welcome back to Take 5 Interactive. I hope you're having a good one because it's almost time to get Army Strike out of here and into the hands of a bunch of gamers, a bunch of first-person shooter players. I don't remember if we have released a first-person shooter before, so we're going to take a little bit of a look here and... Looking at it, it looks like we haven't. Have we ever released a game before? No. No, we haven't. We haven't even bought one. We do have a few things that we are not the inventor of, but by the looks of it, yeah, we have never actually put out a game before. That's going to be interesting. We also have the IntView X6 and whatnot. We have this operating system, which made 177 million in profits. We didn't invent that either, but we recently acquired that at some point. I don't remember exactly what it was, but regardless, we, we have a lot of things that we should be working on. And that's kind of what I want to get started doing today. I think I mentioned in the last episode that we're going to be getting started on the, the future of Take 5 Interactive as of today. So I think what we're going to try and do is we're going to get Army Strike released. It is currently in uh, beta and what we can actually do with that as well is say maximum of let's say 300,000 units in stock before we pause the uh, the production there and I think we'll be pretty good from that point on I think we'll be pretty good once army strike goes out I think we're at a point where we can probably go ahead and really figure out what we're going to be because take five interactive my my hope with this company was that we would lean into a lot of gaming stuff uh i thought that would be kind of cool the supported operating systems for smart sheet pro no longer have any users to sell to consider porting it to other operating systems if possible okay so smart sheet pro we can throw everybody at this if we look at active users. We can put it onto Lion, which is actually a new operating system from SlideClap, which released last year. So we'll actually go ahead and get that porting going. And we also had Master Dragon as well, which is a piece of hardware, which is interesting. But we'll go ahead and port that over to support the new operating system as well. We'll make that a bit of a top priority on both of those. And that'll be fantastic to have. It'll get us a little bit more money for Smartsheet Pro and a little bit more money for uh, Master Dragon as well. Now, it is April 1995. In June, Army Strike's going out. But on top of that, I actually do want to look at my releases again because our most recent release was Plaything 4 in November 93. We haven't released anything in about a year and a half. Before that, it was October 93, and then it was, you know, a few things going out every year, a couple of releases there, a couple of releases there. We had a few things going out every year, all the way back to eh, about 1980 was the year we started putting things out every year. So for 15 years, well, for about 13 years, we had something going out yearly, and now we've broken it with no releases in 1994. So I think what we're going to need to do is start bringing everything back around. We're coming up to the year 2000. So I think what we should probably do is look into making a new notebook. And I think we can make notebook 2000. I think that would be a pretty good idea. So we'll go ahead and say make sequel. And it's going to be notebook uh, 2000 is what we're going to call it. And it can support networking. That's that's the thing here. And I'm going to hope that this operating system, uh, if we use an existing framework, we have T5 scripts with, um, let's see, company royalties, whatever. Let's do T5 script, I guess. Uh, we can sort of throw absolutely everything in here because T5 script supports everything. And I'm curious to see if this new operating system actually bring the tech level up. Let's let's bring this forward a little bit. I'm kind of tired of everything being stuck in uh, stuck in the past to be honest. Uh, there's 187% wasted interest. Now, this is new. When you reach 100% interest, you've saturated your target demographic. Adding more features at this point will result in longer development time, but no further sales. Now, that's really interesting to me. Because what that says 
you know, 316% wasted interest. That is kind of nuts. Uh, so this will run on the hosting server. It'll be developed in the SCM server. The price for it can be $85. And I'm going to go through with this for the time being because I need to look and see what we can actually do with it. So in terms of releases, we have Frame Suite, which will support tech from 1990. So that's fantastic. In terms of audio tools, we're going to be stuck with 1987. So that's kind of okay there. Now, here's my thinking. I don't like that we have wasted interest. I, I'm not a fan of that. Uh, but I do like that we can do a bit of networking. Uh, I don't want to trade the IPs. I like that we can actually do networking. I, I like that a lot. Um, I think that's a pretty good idea. And I'm going to be honest, I do kind of want auto updating, but that 230% wasted interest is so much. Um, ripping things out of here. I mean, I could rip those out. So this one isn't going to support equation rendering and charts and graphs for whatever reason. That seems a bit silly, though. That does. So this this is interesting. So this is, I guess, wasted interest is a way to balance. So if I did. So can I just rip things out of here? until so expected interest is a hundred percent so if i take that out and i take that so that's needed templates eh, whatever so complex text rendering can come out 16 percent wasted clip art brings it down a little bit virtual assistant does nothing sound effect library is not really needed so we can rip all of this stuff out give us about a year of development time with a hundred percent expected interest and three percent wasted so my question kind of becomes, why would I, this is weird. This is, this is weird to me because in, in my mind, what I'm doing here is ripping out features that were in the previous version because the interest already reached a hundred percent, right? So interest, so how interested your target demographic is uh, in your product based on the features chosen, tech levels, and sub-market targeting. So, if 100% of, let's say, 1.1 million people are interested, does that mean that, in theory, that 1.1 million would buy it? That's potential buyers. Is it, I'm going to try this, because I don't really know what this means. I don't really know how this works. Um... I'm not going to do auto updating either, so we don't need a hosting server right now. Uh, looking at price, we can still go for a solid... I'm going to go for $79.99 uh, on that, so that's fine. We're still putting it on the same operating systems. In terms of features, nothing prior to Dorthing OS uh, and nothing prior to Lion will actually support this. So we're not actually putting it on Framestop or Intview X, which Intview X was, is what we own uh, and Framestop has been a platform we've built on for years, so this will be kind of interesting. I don't currently have any running project management tasks, so that's fine. Uh, so expected interest is fine. And we're going to just give this to... So it's the word processor team, and it's the word processor team, so right there. Publishing is just going to be us. So develop, and we'll give that... A bit of a shot. Uh, now, I did see a... I saw a mention on, I think it was Twitter. Someone tweeted me, at Conflict Nerd, by the way, uh, saying that my employees are getting sick because my toilets don't have... Uh, my bathrooms don't have uh, sinks. So we should probably do something about that. We should probably get ourselves a few sinks in here, and that is exactly what we're going to do. I'll be honest, forgetting sinks is something I just I do it all the time in these games. I, I really don't know why. It's it's not it's not a good thing, is is what it is, but it is a common thing that I seem to do. Just bathrooms in general. I forgot them, I think, most recently in uh Prison Architect. That was that was one that I forgot bathrooms in. So hopefully that'll stop people from getting terribly, terribly sick right there. But we'll go ahead. We'll just keep running things. We've got porting going. We've got uh, Notebook 2000 uh, going pretty quickly there with just a single team working on it. So I think what we'll do is use Notebook 2000 as a 
a bit of a test, honestly. We'll see if Notebook 2000 ends up being good, essentially, is what I'm thinking. Uh, now, let's have a look here. Zero active users on print, so we'll cancel support for that. Smartsheet has zero active users as well. Bug Stomper does. That has 16. Print Pro has 12. You have 52,000. You have 2,000. 60,000, 138,000, 213,000, and 867,000. Uh, so that's, yeah, we're probably not going to cancel support for that anytime soon. But yeah, I think we'll use Notebook 2000 as sort of our test dummy and see what we can or can't do with it. Now let's see. Gymnast no longer has users to sell to. Consider porting it to new operating systems. We can absolutely port it over to Lion is what we can do. And we'll make that a bit of a uh, priority task there as well and see how that ends up going for us. Hopefully pretty well is uh, is what I'm wanting there. Hopefully hopefully a few more sales coming in from that. Uh, we are still making decent money. Plaything 4, of course, still making 17 million right there. Uh, Notebook 90, 3.1, Bug Stomper Pro, 475,000. So not too bad on that front. Um, in terms of deliveries and whatnot, we still have things getting moved out, which is great. I am noticing that uh, they're not using a path there. They have made their own, which is neat. I actually like that. I, that's, that's kind of a cool little thing there. Um, can I do something about that? Can I go from, say, here to there? Can I do, like, will they, will they use that? Doesn't really look like it. Can I do, can I just put paths around the entire thing? Is that, is that an option? It doesn't really seem like it, does it? Um, I can't go from there, annoyingly. Can I go from here? No. Okay. Um, can I go from, I can go from here. Can I just do this? Ooh. Oh, well, would you look at that? So we can do paths just sort of around here if we really want to which I do kind of want to, so that we don't have this, you know, the grass getting torn up and whatnot, so absolutely bring some paths around here. So from there to about there, and that seems fine. So no more ugly grass, by the looks of it. That's good. I like that. That's, that's, I didn't know I could do that. That's, that's pretty cool. Definitely makes it look a little bit more urban. And I also realized this entire building here, I want to select it. And I want to go to materials, exterior, and I'm not sure about the brick. I'm definitely not thinking the Actually, you know what? The brick isn't bad. And interior wise, let's go for this. Flooring wise, let's go for something kind of smooth. I realize I didn't do any coloring in this thing whatsoever. So the exterior, I kind of want to do like a red, sort of a red brick building. Just to be something a bit different. The floors inside, I'm going to go for sort of a dark kind of thing. And then the walls are already white. So I think that's kind of neat. A little bit different. You know, it's it's in the middle of the city. It's just a red brick building. But I, you know, I kind of dig it. It's kind of cool. So we can go with that. And uh, let's see here. So Notebook 2000 is still in the... Oh, no, 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 no. I just realized something. We almost forgot to release Army Strike. Release, absolutely. Ad campaign, budget, uh, 75,000, which we didn't get to do today. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. Um, Let's move that up to the top. So we'll throw it above Plaything 4, and that's fine. Plaything 4 has a priority of 10. It's going to go to 9. Notebook 90 has 8, and Bug Stomper can go to 7, and we'll see how that plays out. Army Strike made 1.1 million, so that's actually, honestly, whatever. That's, it's, it's fine. It sold units, which, I mean, with minimal marketing, honestly, not bad. Uh, now, having a look at Army Strike, let's throw a port job on here, because there's a lot of things, there's a lot of systems it can run on, and a lot of systems it is not running on. So, we're going to port it to anything with over 50,000 users. So, that goes right by to, I mean, it goes on to phones. We have a phone operating system? Is that our, no, that's not our first one. That might actually... No, that might be our first one. We have a couple of phone operating systems. That's kind of neat. Let's sort these by release date. Let's release it on anything since 1990. Yeah, we do have two. That's our first phone operating systems right there. Okay. Absolutely. Port that to everything that has released since 1990. Let's get this game on everything. That seems like a very, like, 
good thing to do, right? Take our first person shooter and put it on every single operating system that we can manage. That seems like a uh, worthwhile venture. And I'll tell you what I'm also going to do. Since we're spending so much time on Plaything 5, I'm pretty confident it will do okay. So, I'm going to do the notebook thing. But I'm going to do it to everything. So, Gymnast is our PDF tool. So, SQL. Uh, Gymnast 2000. We're skipping over, you know, the various names that we had, right? So, we're not doing Gymnast Pro. We're just, you know, everything is going to, you know, something 2000. Because we're going to try and release it before or shortly around the millennium. Um, and I think, yeah, we're going to take a risk with this. So, we're going to start with networking and sharing will kind of be the first thing we throw in there. We can kind of throw in all of this stuff. So, we're immediately 78% wasted interest. What I'm thinking we're going to do is we're not going to do page reordering. We're not going to do... So, these are only speed... I don't, I don't really, I really don't know how this is going to work. Um... I guess signature validation seems like what we kind of neat, and that does require some hosting, so I do want to do that. Auto updates seem kind of neat. We'll put that on hosting as well. Let's, you know what? Let, uh, I don't want it to be two years. I want these all releasing around the same time. So let's take out conversions. Really doesn't do much for us. Really doesn't do much for us whatsoever. Um, I really don't want it to take approximately two years, though. That's, that's kind of my thing right now. So, let's just try taking out everything. I do want networking in here, but I'm going to take out a lot of things. 132%. How much can I rip out of this before it's just... That's kind of nuts. So, forms on their own are a big draw. So if I take out auto updating, but I do signature validation, there's a lot. That's, that's nuts. That I don't. I'm. I don't understand how this works. I really don't. So, how can there be 34% wasted interest if I have only got 48%? I I need to re. I sorry. I I'm asking a lot of dumb questions here. I didn't even know that wasted interest was a thing right now. So, I'm just going to go 174% and see what happens. It's about a year to, to do it, so that's fine. Uh, pricing on this is going to be $49.99. And do we have a framework for it? We do. We have uh, T5 PDF, so that's fine. Tech level, I want to bring it forward as much as I possibly can. Um, I don't know that any of this is going to actually work, but we'll find out. Uh, in terms of the 2D editor we're using... We can only use a 1991. That's fine. And in terms of operating systems, it's just going to be these two, which is fine because there's 1.5 million users there. So that seems fine by me. This is a PDF thing, so it's going to go to the PDF team and the PDF team is what it's going to go to. So that can be developed. And I, again, have, <clears throat> excuse me, absolutely no idea how this actually works so we're not gonna stress too much about it but it's also weird anyway gymnast 2000 is now being worked on let's do the same thing with a couple of other bits of software as well sorting by profits int view we did not make expert gram we did not make print we did make so print pro seems to be the last one that we did in 1990 so let's go for sequels and it's going to be you know the same thing print 2000 so this is a public piece of publishing software and it has 11 percent expected interest if we give it networking and database connections and auto updating and cloud sync that gives us a bit of wasted interest we'll bring that out we'll take cloud sync out um, we'll throw the T5 Publisher framework at it. We'll give it a sound effect library, but I want to bring, I want to bring the tech forward again. Like we have been doing, I want to bring the tech levels right forward to, uh, as high as they can possibly go. And then we'll kind of go from there. 
So, 73% expect, uh, expected interest. If we give it complex text rendering and a dictionary and a source and spell check, we have networking, we have audio. We could throw a virtual assistant in there. And we could throw vector graphics in there. I don't I don't really know. Charts, equation rendering. It's all going to bring it up to about two years. So let's just do this. About a year, 100% expected interest, 55% wasted, whatever. In terms of editors, it's going back down to 1990 there. And in terms of audio, it's 1987. That's fine. Still 100%. And in terms of this, it's still going to be those two same operating systems. So that is fine. Everything here is fine. And everything here is going to be going to the publisher team. So that is going to be you guys. And that is going to be you guys right there and develop. So now we're working on all these different things. We've got uh, Plaything 5, Notebook, Gymnast, and Print. I am thinking we're basically going to do the same thing with all of the other franchises that we have. Okay, so everything is queued up for the most part. I've also turned on room labels because it's just a fantastic idea to have those. It makes my life a lot easier. And I also want to have a look here because we have a few employees calling in sick. The operating systems for Notebook 90 no longer have users to sell to. So let's grab everybody and let's start moving Notebook 90 over to lion right there and we'll make that a top priority porting job uh army strike is being ported to new systems already and is doing 3.2 million which is fantastic news and like i said everything else is just getting developed some of the bits of software are going to go faster than others and they're all going a little bit faster than they had been because i've taken everybody off a of plaything, and i've now just got the hardware team and the console os team working on plaything. So it's going to go a bit slower, but that's kind of okay. I'm not too stressed about that. Uh, I do want to get everything here uh, into a good state. I'm going to wait for all of these pieces of software to be done with their fourth... Uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Iteration is the word I'm looking for. I'm going to get them all done with their fourth iteration. And then we're going to go ahead and move them all into active development. I'm going to try and release, well, I might try and release all of these in the same year. The reason I'm slightly, not reluctant, uh, but unsure about that is because obviously we have to deal with, you know, uh, not all companies, sorry, uh, da, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Upcoming releases, event calendar is, is what that is, uh, so... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did up is upcoming releases? So upcoming releases is now event calendar, right? That's a thing. Okay. Um Oh. Oh, that's really neat actually. So I can Oh, I can sort. Ooh. So I can sort by. So if I go to operating system, I go to console and I go to 1996 Epic Player 2 by Fruity Software. In December of 96. 97 is Game Bro 2 by Punch Delight in December as well. And then no one has anything sort of planned going forward. Um, if I go to all operating systems, we actually have a phone operating system next December. We have another phone operating system the following in May. And then in 2000, sorry, 1999. We have a server operating system as well. That is really kind of cool. I gotta be honest, that is that is actually kind of a cool way of doing that. Rather than just giving me a big list, I kind of have to look for specific things. I I kind of dig that. That's that's pretty cool. Uh now it is looking like you know a bunch of these are going pretty well, which is lovely to see. Obviously, plaything has slowed down a little bit, which was kind of expected. But I also kind of want to start looking at new things. I'm very tempted to get... I'm tempted to get a gaming team, actually. Do we have a gaming team? I don't think we do. Army Strike was made by... I mean, Army Strike is doing very well for itself. Um, Army Strike, I think, was made by everybody, wasn't it? I'm not actually 100% sure on that. If we have a look, Army Strike, does it give me... If I look at details, does it tell me who worked on it? I don't think it will. Um, that's fine so 
I mean, maybe we, is it? Oh, it's only just coming up to a profit as well. Good Lord. Okay. I think we get a gaming team. I think that might be a pretty good idea because we have these two spaces here that have nobody in them. We have these spaces here as well. So we could on this floor, we also have another floor if we really wanted to go crazy with three different gaming teams, which I ever so slightly kind of do. Huh. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. So we have 35 chairs in there. If I go to manage teams and I go to new team, gaming, uh, games one is what we're going to do for it. So games one, and they are going to be this sort of very bluish color, which is fine. I want to have a look and see what exactly it's going to take to make... I don't know what kind of game. Let's go for... It's 95. It's about to be 1996. Let's try a party game. That seems like a good idea. I'm not really sure what kind of game we're making, really, but we're going to we're gonna have some fun here. In terms of frameworks, um, I think we'll do a new one. We'll go for just T5... Uh, I don't know. T5... Uh, games, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> sure. T5 games. I'm so good at this. Uh, that's that's great. So, it's a party game. So, I want leaderboards. We want custom mini games. I think that's going to be important. We want adaptive music. I think that'd be good. 3D graphics. I don't even know. Do we support 3D graphics? I mean, 3D editor, we have this one. So, we'll start with that. 2D editor, this one. Audio tool this one which is fantastic we have a new audio tool so uh, do we support it though so plaything 4 actually what does it not support not compatible with selected features what is it not it doesn't do 3d graphics oh dear okay if we take out 3d graphics though we can make this for everything so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take a risk here i'm gonna select every operating system I didn't really want to go back to 1989, but it does have a lot of users. We're going to do that. And immediately that gives us about two years of development time, but it's 3.9 million. Eh, you know what? Let's select all of these. Let's remove. Let's go for everything back to our own operating system, which gives us 3.2 million in about a year. That's fine. So it's a party game. Leaderboards, custom mini games, 2D graphics with a bit of post-processing. Sure, why not? Uh, recorded dialogue, maybe not necessary. Uh, multiplayer is not supported by the selected, selected operating systems. If I take all of these out, do we also don't support multiplayer. Ooh. So we don't support networking, is what that tells me. Uh, so, sure. We'll throw everything in there. We're not doing multiplayer. That's rough is what that is. That's that's rough. Um, sure. Uh, recorded dialogue can go in there. Physics aren't going to be a huge thing. Um, customizable character. Advanced HUD. What is this? Accept all and close. That's fine. Um, advanced HUD. Sure. Mod support doesn't really do anything. Physics doesn't do anything. Open world does. Open world party game. Cutscenes isn't supported either. Oh boy. Um, I'll tell you what. Customizable character sure none of this stuff really does anything uh 91 is about as good as it's going to get in approximately two years now it's recommending five designers six programmers and four artists so 10 12 will be 22 30 so we could yeah we could do this so let's just do 10 10 and 10 10 designers 10 programmers 10 artists and that would leave five so let's do 11 and 11 and 11 will be 33 and we'll do an extra designer to give us 34 and then one person as the team leader but the team leader would have an office so we could actually go 12 12 11 so 12 24 35 uh would work and then an, a leader elsewhere so yeah that actually kind of works out um in terms of all of this i mean we can bring graphics sort of down a little bit uh, and still maintain good interest. So we'll kind of have that be our focus. 
So 12, 12, and 11. Next page, we're going to do none. And we're going to do none. And uh, we're going to put it into development. But uh, we haven't got a name for it. We do not want to continue yet. We need to go to previous. What name are we going for? So it's a party game. And it's the 90s. So... Halboard Fun Game Collection. Collection. Was that Collection Game Collection? Good lord. Buddy Battles. I like Buddy Battles. I think that's fun. And it's very 90s. So Buddy Battles is what we're going to go for. Um, and that's fine. So throw it into development. We're going to continue. No one is currently working on it. That's fine. So let's assign this room to Games 1. And let's have a look. Do we have... We do have a leader room there. So limit usage done. Uh, games 1 can go there. And essentially what we're going to do is we are going to look towards HR management for this. Budget of $150,000 because we can. They're going to be hired for their roles. Education level there. Education will be 10 at a time. Programmers will be 12, 12, 11. Specializations, uh, sure. And salary, high. So that'll be good. And the age is apparently, hmm, sure. 45 to 62. Can I not? I don't think I can change that anymore, can I? If I do low, it brings it down. But we'll go, we'll go high because we can. And that will be fine. So no worries there. We just need to get ourselves a leader. So lead, specializing in HR, salary high. We'll search for everything, spend a lot of money, and begin looking. So we're looking for someone with a good amount of skill. Uh, you have HR, so you can handle hiring and... You seems pretty good. Brain Adams. That's a good name. Uh, so games team, you are hired. And you should now go up to 36 people in the games team. Once good old brain. Oh, wait, no. Manage roles. Brain, you are also a leader is what you are. So that should go up to 32. 36. Perfect. So now we go to buddy battles. We assign it to the games team, and we will see if they can manage to uh, make a good thing there. 